Welcome to Understanding Principal and Interest. At this point, you should print the Mortgage Math Workbook from the course repository or the attachments above before beginning this lesson. We recommend trying to complete the workbook before trying to progress from this section because you'll see what you do know and what you don't know where you need to focus. It is difficult as an instructor to structure this course. All of these topics belong together, but we have to figure out a rational approach to deliver them in sequence. As a consequence, while ratios and LTVs and qualifying are really important, you really need to be able to use a financial calculator before progressing. And this is how we've tried to design the entire curriculum, presenting the information that you need to build a foundation. Our lesson objectives here are to understand how to use the financial calculator and using financial calculators as sales tools to educate the borrower. In the same way that we talk about different mortgage lending entities and educate the consumer about that, we'll educate the consumer about different financial calculations. By showing a customer the effect of changing various elements of a financial transaction, and walking them through the steps we go through, we are demystifying the loan process. We are showing them what is happening while we are doing it so that they are not feeling ignorant. The more they understand what we're talking about, the more they'll trust us and will make a decision we want them to. Financial calculators are a great tool for doing this. The old saying goes, numbers don't lie. Using a financial calculator to show a borrower a tangible result of a calculation allows them to see that it is an actual process. If numbers don't lie, this means they can believe what we are saying. The most basic financial calculation of all is the interest-only financial payment computation. Also referred to as simple interest or interest-only, this is the basic interest cost of a loan. For a customer, it is important for them to understand that simple interest is different from principal and interest. An amortized payment will include principal and so will be higher. This is one calculation you do not need a financial calculator for. A basic desktop calculator or even handheld basic calculator will allow you to compute this payment. To calculate the interest only monthly payment, simply Take the loan amount, multiply it by the interest rate to get the annual interest costs. Then divide that number by 12 and the result is the monthly interest cost. In this case, $150,000 loan amount multiplied by 7% yields $10,500 in annual interest cost. Divide 10,500 by 12 and that will give you a monthly interest only payment of $875.